Hello. If you're a follower of mine, you'll know that I like to grow vegetables at home from seed. Well, this year we've started with a bit of a disaster. I popped up a video some weeks ago where I showed you some seeds that had germinated but looked as though they were suffering. They didn't look healthy at all. And that's because who did grow and grown veg would like to experiment. And one of the experiments I was conducting this year was to try and grow seeds in coir, just plain coir, nothing else. Never done it before, give it a go this year. I'm going to cut you to a very short clip of video that I posted a number of weeks back. Uh, the full, full video shows uh, abject failure really, trying to grow carrot seeds, trying to grow parsnip seeds, beetroot seeds and tomato seeds in just plain coir. But this particular video you're watching now is about trying to start those tomato seeds in coir and the conclusions that I've now drawn since I've actually planted some more tomato seeds in just plain old garden soil. Check this little clip of video out and then come back to me. I'll show you tomatoes that have been started in plain old garden soil. Some of my tomato seedlings Wow, look at those. Those have been in about six week, six to eight week. And they've looked like this for the last at least three week. Two seed leaves, yeah. But absolutely nothing else. The seam is all standing still. I've never sown seeds in coir before, just plain coir. I've usually had a coir mix, a coir soil mix, but I've just gone with coir and you've seen the results. And I'm wondering if I've made a mistake here. Just stepping seeds off in coir with nothing added. Have you ever used this stuff? Have you ever used coir for starting seeds? Just plain coir, nothing else. If you have, come back to me in the comments. Let me know how your seedlings got on. I'm going to give these a bit longer. Well, there's nothing else I can do really. There's nothing else I can. I'll give them a bit longer. Um, and if push comes to show, I'll actually plant them up like that. I will give them uh, the best shot I can. But I've got to say I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed with everything I've shown you today. But hey, we can't just keep showing winners here at Home Grown Veg, because we don't always get winners. If any of these turn out to be losers, the losers. That's the end of it. If they turn out to be winners, you'll see them harvested. You'll see carrots, parsnips, beetroot harvested. You'll see me picking tomatoes. But if they turn out to be dudes, if they turn out to be losers, I'll show you that as well. If nothing else, we have an honest channel. Um, we'll get some winners across the line, but we have some losers just like everybody else. Okay, so these uh, tomato plants were started by me in garden soil in exactly the same way as I started those tomato plants in coir. And look at the difference. Look at the difference. Now one thing I did worry about when I put the first video up was that that seed for those tomato plants had came from packets that had been opened the previous year and I started to actually doubt the seed and the only way I was going to prove this was to plant some more of those seeds but not in coir, in something else. So there's the exact same varieties from the exact same packets that, that those tomato seedlings came from, the tomato seeds in the clip that you've just watched and then look at the difference. 
I mean, these are the two seed leaves, the big leaves, and these are the true leaves, the true tomato leaves. I mean, come on. This is a variety called Roma, by the way, just out of interest. This is a variety called Moneymaker. And this is a variety called Heinz 1350. Now I've got an admission. I've got an admission to make. I've already purchased or been given the replacements for those seedlings that didn't make it. Let me show you this. I've already discarded those seedlings. It was pointless. They weren't going to make anything. These seedlings would grow well. But I've already got enough tomatoes now because as I've already said, I purchased and was given replacements and I only needed a dozen and I've got them in. So these are actually spare now. Um, but they have served a purpose. They've proved to me that the seed in the packets is still viable. And they've proved to me that trying to grow seeds in just plain old coir is a dead loss. Yeah, it's a dead loss. This is a way to go. Garden saw it. It's worked for me. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I think we've solved the mystery of was it old seeds or was it coir? It was definitely coir. I think this is the way to go in future. I won't be sowing any seeds in plain old coir ever again. If I use coir as part of a mix, that might work, but plain coir definitely doesn't work for starting seeds. It gets the seeds away but then there's nothing in the coir to support the plant. It just doesn't flourish. It just stands still. At least that's what it did for me. So it's lesson learned, isn't it? It's lesson learned. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is Owen Grumpage, signing out.